thirsty? No, good. I'm. I'm. I'm I've got something. I wasn't talking about the drink. What? <laughs> no. What? You've been staring at the guy like you've been waiting to meet him your whole life. Go say hello. Buy him a drink. No, not me. Uh uh. No, no, thank you. <laughs> Actually, okay. Thirsty? Hmm? Uh, for a, a drink, not not sexually. <laughs> Gross. I don't. I didn't mean it like that. I'm gonna order an alcoholic beverage. Would you like to have one too with with me? Uh, sure. Why, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. <clears throat> Phil. Can I get you? Old fashioned. Old fashioned. <laughs> How adorable. Some real cute vibe going on here. Okay, two old fashions, and you can cut that out, Phil. Hi, I'm Sheila. Hi. Hi. I'm uh, I'm Gary. Oh, Gary. Wow. So we both have like old timey names. Yeah, uh, I guess very uh, sadistic parents. Oh, don't even get me started. I mean, there's no couch in here. <laughs> but yeah, Gary's. That's a good name. That's like a strong name. Yeah, I, I guess if you're like a, a, a used car salesman or or something. Oh wait, you're not a. A, a used car salesman? Or a mechanic? No, 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 sorry. Really needed to get my car fixed, so I should probably go. Oh. I'm totally kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, well. Cheers, Cheers, mate. <laughs> that was kind of weird. <laughs> well, not really. I mean, what are the odds? Odds are pretty good, actually. Gary, I gotta come clean with you. I'm a time traveler from the future, so I knew everything you were gonna say. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so what is the future like? Kind of what you'd expect, you know, robots hunting down inferior robots while the humans just watch and do nothing. So kind of like Blade Runner. No, that's a work of fiction, Gary. This is reality I'm talking about. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Uh, it, well, excuse me, but it, it, it sounds like things are pretty rough for robots in the future. Yes, it's a real injustice. But, you know, I wouldn't worry about it. They actually started their own civil rights movement. Wow. It's making headway. It's, I can't talk about it. Plus, I don't want to fuck up your timeline. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, because I like my timeline. Yeah, no, totally. You know, so... Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, all this, this time travel really makes a girl super hungry. Wow, that's uh, that's super interesting. So I'm gonna get some food. Would you like to come with me and get food? food. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's 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 go get you some food. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. Bye, Phil. you weren't really watching the game in there. So what do you have against televised sports? Did like a football kill your grandpa or something? Yeah, actually it did. Love you, grandpa. <laughs> no, I didn't really grow up in a sports friendly household. Mm -hmm. You know, my dad was never home. He was like a traveling professor. And yeah, we never played catch or anything like that. So I just like stayed inside and watched movies. And you know, before I knew it, he was dead. I'm sorry. Okay, what are you gonna do, you know? My dad's dead, too. Oh. I don't know why. Uh, he was a, also a traveling alcoholic, more so traveled from bar to bar, you know, and then eventually it, it just it killed him. I'm sorry. That's okay. Well, clearly it didn't fuck either one of us No, up. very I mean, normal people. Yeah, we're so normal, mm -hmm. nothing wrong with this at all. No, I mean, other than the fact that I'm about to ruin your life. Yeah, I had a feeling. 